All right, welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? Right. Everybody here? People are joining. Mr. Heath is on the call. I'm just trying to figure out how to add him. Perfect. Heath should be. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Everybody, say hello to Mr. Heath, well, <laughs> Mr. Advertorial. <laughs> Dude, what's up? Holy soaks, I haven't seen you a bit. I want to give you a good squeeze. I miss you. Big, big uh, I miss you too. Dude, it's great to see you. I think uh, last time I saw you was in uh, Austin, I believe. Yeah, so, the Copy Accelerator event. Copy Accelerator, yeah. And before, yeah. And before that, back at the good old days of Hollywood RV Park, where I... <laughs> we, That's we, right. You're one of... Everyone, everyone knows that <clears throat> Heath is famous for riding, being Mr. Advertorial while on the road as well from his amazing RV. So. Yeah. Traveled the U.S. in an RV for three years, and it will do a number to your brain. It will mess you up. It will do. It will. It. It's like it was rough, but it was good. But it was like it was rough. But I, I imagine, I imagine you must, you must, you must have so many stories. Like you've seen a slice of. Americana, yeah. right? From living in oh, RV yeah. parks, trailer parks, not just in one place, all over the whole country. You must have like you must have a massive library of stories to tap into for oh it's for yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy across the United States. Yeah, all the different experiences, like breaking down in Pensacola on the highway and like having to get two tow trucks to pull the truck and the RV. It was crazy. It was nasty. <laughs> like all yeah. sorts of crazy. Yeah, crazy. It was good though. Like I loved it. I was grateful for it. I'm grateful we did it. It was a big adventure. Um, but glad to settle down now here yes. in lovely North Carolina. And so yeah. Where, it's been nice though. Where are you in North Carolina again? What town? I'm in uh it's High Point area. So we're in the okay. triad. So there's like Winston Salem, Greensboro, and High Point. And so yeah, that's where we're at. We like it. It's nice. We like the south where we're at. Right now it there's it's crazy weather. It'll get really cold and then mm -hmm. really humid. Right now, there's a lot of lightning and thunder happening. So, but it's it's really really cool. We're glad to just settle down. Um, but I mean, if anyone's looking for the RV life, I could tell you. Oh, see, lots of thunder happening right now. I don't know if you heard that, Ooh. but I I yeah. can tell people all about it. I should put together like an offer, just my own <laughs> offer, just for RV people, like like getting started, what to do, what not to do. I should do that. But digital like, nomad yeah 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 how to do it the biggest the hardest thing is just internet that'll give you the most anxiety if you're doing what i'm doing it's just internet did you ever so. experiment with starlink at all dude that came out right when we settled like it okay. came out like the week before okay. and then we were already settling but then yeah a lot of rv people are now using starlink and they're because i i had a call with this dude on a um he was on a boat like in the pacific ocean not that far from the coast Mm -hmm. He's he was using Starlink and he said, "Yeah, it's amazing." It so is, I've never like, tried it. From what I've heard from people, from RV people, like it's incredible. Yeah, we didn't have that. We had to do all sorts of other finagling things to just get good at decent internet, okay internet. But you know, yeah, man. So, so it's good to have you. I mean, uh, we could chit chat all day about about the about he's 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 excellent adventures. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um i mean you know i gotta tell you so we we sent an email out yesterday because i know we've, we've been going back and forth and you're super busy and i really appreciate you getting on the call and sure. just just um you know chit chatting about advertorials with our audience and just, we got a ton of interest so we got a lot of affiliates a lot of offer owners and people who Heck yeah have dabbled in in advertorials people who are 
veterans, grizzled veterans in advertorials, and people don't even know what advertorials are. So we got a good mix of people on the call right now. And I guess the first question is just technically, can everyone on the call can hear us? Can you confirm that you can see us? Everything looking good from an audio or video standpoint before we dive in and start picking Heath's brain. All right, lots of thumbs up. Got some good thumbs. sign. Thumbs, thumbs. Sweet, dude. It's sweet, dude. I'm glad <laughs> it. Thumbs. Glad it. I like rarely ever do these things, so it's kind of like I'm a little nervous. <laughs> nervous, but I'm also excited. I have an audience here. Like I'm, it's nice. So, um, yeah, man, I'm excited to talk about it, and I'll share everything. My biggest thing with avatars is like there's massive opportunity for it for people that are wanting to break out say for instance i see a lot of email copywriters that are wanting to expand their knowledge and like expand just the repertoire because there's so many email copywriters right you can find an email copywriter there's so many but advertorial copywriters they you don't see a lot you get some co copywriters that are like oh yeah and i also do advertorials sure i can also do that but then I, what happened to me is I got kind of pushed in this corner because I quit. I was just doing advertorials and then I just became known for it. So I just leaned into it. So it's not like I just all of a sudden was like, I'm, I, I was an opportunity. I was an untapped opportunity area that I was just like, people want these advertorials. No one's doing them. And so I was like, I'm the advertorial guy. And so I just leaned <laughs> into it and I was like, there we go. Uh, and so I just started, that's where a lot of just work. And then I was getting connections more, just my name just started getting synonymous with like these avatorials, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I could dive in and I could talk about, I could do basically the, the training that I put together. I could put, I could do like the first big lesson module thing where it's like, I talk about what they are, how they work, why they work so well, how they're timeless too. I just sent an, out an email showing my email list, like advertorials, because I collect old vintage Playboy magazines because they're just full of ads. Mm -hmm. So if you ever want a secret, go to antique stores, get Playboy magazines, and you can find old vintage ads that are just incredible. And you could just take them. He's and, buying them for like, the ads, folks. That's what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> I, but like, it, it's amazing. Yeah. And they become your swipe file. And like, just, it's cool. Cause I just sent one today that it's literally like same kind of copy that we would use today. And mm -hmm. and it's like, this is a legit avatorial used in 1979, February issue, 1979 of Playboy. It's right there. And it's selling like an exercise equipment that is like sold today, like an all-in-one exercise equipment you could do at home without having to go to the gym and it's inexpensive and you can get it all done in 50, you know, in 50 minutes and all this stuff. So like. I was like, that's literally, you can like take that. And like, there's so many X3 bar is a big one for like, I just know the space too. It's like X3 bar. It's like the same thing. It's like, get the body you want in 20 minutes. Right. So it's, uh, or 20 minutes a day. And that's like their whole big mechanism. It's like, you don't need to go to the gym and all this. So they're timeless. Avertorials are everywhere. Uh, if, as long as you know what you're looking for when it comes to the avatorial and how they're structured, what they're doing. And then from there, what's cool is now of course all the talk about chat gpt and i am not like a pro at it as yet i'm also still kind of like easy does it because i can now start to sniff chat gpt copy out like mm -hmm. it comes to me back from like a junior copywriter or someone i'm like you chat gpt this out like i could tell because the chat gpt always sticks with this certain phrase or something mm -hmm. so it's still being trained with prompts and stuff i'm still playing around with it i'm like i'm being friendly with it but i'm also i I enjoy the act of writing just because it pulls, you get to understand more of who you are. Like that's the whole point of writing. Like, yes, we're copywriting and we're persuading, but also like you're having to think like mm -hmm. why there's still a beauty in that thinking and, and getting down to it. Anyway, I can go off on a tangent about no, that totally. psychology, but I find it, but what's cool is in the end, if you want to learn how these advertorials work, you can then, you still need to know how they work to then, teach the chat GPT like what to do. Once you find out how it works, then yeah, you can start feeding chat GPT. Uh, absolutely. I plan on doing that. I still want to be, be able to be testing with it and playing with it to see how it could do, how it can make it work, especially when it comes to leads in the avatorials or bodies or different sections for sure. Um, Keith, real quick, so, um, you mentioned something yeah. I just want to make sure people are aware of. So you have an yeah. email list and where can people, because you sent out some great emails for everyone oh not, yeah yeah oh thank you <laughs> yeah yeah they're and here's the thing i'm warning with it like 
they're very much me. Like it's, I, I'm not here. I don't put on a persona. Like I will talk about my incinerator toilet that we had in the RV that literally burns your poop. Like I'll talk about that. Like I'll talk about anything that's happening in my life. Like I get really vulnerable in my email list. What's crazy is they t people tend to like it because no one ever unsubscribes. And I like forcibly like, I'm like, you're gonna unsubscribe. And like, no one does. Everyone's like, yeah, we like this. We like this <laughs> craziness of you. And no yeah. one, and so I'm like, all right, here we go. So yeah, it's just Heath Wilcock at Gmail. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Heath, that's my email. HeathWilcock.com, that's that's it. Just go there and you'll, you'll get it. Um, and if it's not pulling up, it's because, uh, because I'm the worst and all the great work goes to my clients and not me. Yeah, I mean, See, we'll have to figure that out. Here we go. Here we go. I got it. I'll just drop right. it here. Perfect. Here. Um, Perfect. Where's the chat? Is there a chat in here? If you go to Q and A, there's a Q and A thing. Oh, okay. Here you go. Here you go. I think I just uh, yeah. There you go. Just Boom. hit that. All right, everybody. Anyway, you can there. see that I haven't touched it in a little bit too, so I need to update time, it and so. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I will waste your time. <laughs> I will awesome. wait. I'm very upfront about what I do. Um, so yeah, I could dive in. So the, here's the thing too, is that sales copy is fucking great. Thanks. Thanks, Tanner. <laughs> uh, here's the thing is like, so I'll talk more about it, but like I deep down, like, cause I'm a fiction writer. Like I have been doing this for a long time since 2012, direct response, copywriting stuff, but it was to pay the bills. Right. And so, and I had this like big mental breakdown last year and everything. Cause the truth is, is I was like identifying, I was like, I'm a marketer and copywriter and all this. And I was living very comfortably, but it wasn't me. So like, so that's why I like fired all my clients. I talk about it in my sales letter. I could show you guys later uh, for the training, but it's like the, I, I know all this stuff and I continue to work, to work it. But it's also like, I want to sell it to other people, like give it to other people and teach other people to do it. Like there's so much big opportunity for it. I don't need it all. There's so, there's such a big pie out there. And also truth is, is like, I'm very, I have enough, I'm good. I'm, I'm writing fiction. I like to write what I wanna write and I continue to work. Like this has now become like my job. I'm not going to be this like guru person where it's just like, this is, this is my path now. And it's just like more and more and more, like I'm good. So I, advertorials have really helped me get there where it's like live a comfortable life travel to the us and just uh just keep getting better at these things so um would you like me to just like dive in and kind of just go right for it you guys so you can stop i mean talking yeah, about me I, i'm stop. just i'm but one voice here but i say yeah absolutely Been yeah for problems. sure i gotta stop talking about me I, no 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 that's it's, i mean we love the, back, <laughs> the backstory is amazing and this is just the tip of the iceberg but um and then he you have a few questions too from from people who sent them in Dude, but maybe yeah. they'll get maybe they'll get answered in the course of the of, of uh yeah what we're gonna dive into so let's do it yeah for sure i'll just do like a little presentation thing give me that story luke get out of here you um okay i'll tell more about my story but in the meantime can you see my screen can you see this like Can you see it? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Can you see my screen? See your screen, yeah. Looks like it's going What's to present it? presenter window. How, how is it? Um, everyone can see it good? Okay, yeah, I can see that. Fine. What's everyone an avatar and how do they work? Is yep, that it? I see that, yeah. Everyone sweet, see it? sweet. Cool. All right, you just, I can't really see anyone right now. So Ian, you just kind of keep. Yeah, I'll, be the vo I'll be the voice of the, the audience here, let you know if anyone <laughs> Thanks, demands buddy. to stop. Thanks. Uh, so what are they? It's an editorial plus an ad. So the idea is what's cool with advertorials. It's the perfect device that allows you to educate people without them feeling as if they're being sold to. So it's a way to where you can, you've probably landed on pages where like, clearly this is a pitch or like you've seen a commercial, like clearly this is a pitch, right? But if you it, like back in the day, when VSLs were the hottest thing and it was like, uh, well, Ian, you could speak to this. Like, you know, the, was it the death to America and the probiotics and stuff? Like it was set up where it was like, it felt like a documentary. It was like the latest thing. It was like, whoa, what is this pro? It, you didn't know it was a probiotic. Like they're going to sell you probiotics. It was this crazy, cool information and you're learning about it. 
so that's what an avatorial does where it 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 gives you this education this it makes you sit up and go oh i didn't know that and it gets and it goes right for what the what they are offering i call it the ultimate get to it get get to it right away ad where it's they're not trying to string you along where it's like oh and then this happened and this happened and my mother she was she died and she wished she had all this weight loss issue like it's just all this emotion and then trying to pull you along it's kind of like here's this it, it's like here's this uh, here's the problem here's the solution here's how it works and here's where you can get it um but the way it does the way it approaches is it's it feels very um you can slide right in without it feeling very jarring like people those walls won't go up and be like what is this is are you selling me something um so enter the conversation the prospect is already having in their head from Eugene Schwartz. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard this quote uh, from Eugene Schwartz from Breakthrough Advertising. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you have the book and everything. I know it's a it's a great quotable book and there's plenty in there. Um, but that's really, really true. That's how an avatorial works. And like, you're just entering the conversation the prospect is already having in their head. They're already having it. And all you're doing is you're just channeling their desire onto your offer. You're not trying to do anything else. They have a certain desire already. How can you take that desire and put it onto your offer? So very simply, what are they? Avatars, they, you would click on an ad. So let me see if I show you. So you'd click on an ad, let's say, uh, and I'll show you in the wild too. I've gotten so used to it. I can show you different websites to go to and you can, I'll start clicking around and I'll show you different avatorials. So you go to an avatorial and it's it's approached as an article. You can see here on this left. So this one is a big one that just has, it continues to crush. It's doing really, really well, these cameras, these light socket security cams. So they you go here and you learn about it. It's this education, look how it's like set up. You got 57 shares, you got the share, the share button. So it's approaching as if it's an article, right? And it's not super high end, like sales pagey look, it looks as though it's like an article you would click on where he has like the hero image it shows three different cameras from testimonials so it's you know they look a little dirty they're not like super clean and fresh so yeah and then i'll just go and so here i'll go over the headline and subheadline why these viral wireless light socket security cams are disrupting the billion dollar home security market and the subheadline is this new wireless security camera keeps a stable permanent connection to your wi-fi router zero installation wiring or gotcha monthly fees and I'll talk more about the research too. Um, and I go in depth about that in my training where it's like, why did I talk about keep stable permanent connection? Like that was a big objection uh, that I saw with a lot of other cameras is people couldn't get their cameras onto their phone. Like they couldn't check on their phone to see who's at the front door. It kept dropping a, a connection. So this is something uh, that I wanted to bring up up at the top because that was really important for people. So boom, put that there. So anyway, they read it. And an avatar in a sense is like moving the person up the awareness. So you're getting cold traffic, clicking on an ad, they get here and they're cold traffic they don't know. Or are you not like, I mean, it's cold traffic, but they're probably at the problem aware. They're problem aware and probably also solution aware. They know that there's other solutions out there. They heard of ring camera and the doorbell cameras. Like we see them, we see them on Reddit, we see them on TikTok. Like people see these things, right? So this, so they're aware of it. So what is this and how I approach it is in the conversation they're already having in their head is that this is a new viral, it's a viral wireless light socket security cam. So it's a light socket security cam I'm talking about how, what makes it unique is that you just literally screw it into your light socket and it starts to work. Um, obviously you have to do other things like QR code and so on. So anyway, they work through this avatorial and then they click the check availability. And I can talk more about how that advertorial, how it's structured, like the urgency and so on to get them to click. They click the check availability and then it goes to this sales page. Now there's other ways you could test it too. You could test it to just as straight to an order page and have multiple uh, packages, like well, you know, one light, two light, three light, five light, 10 lights. We do up to 10 lights. Um, we do up to 10 depending on the product, but we'll do a lot and you'll be surprised. Some people are like, yeah, I need 10 lights. I got a lot of light sockets and I have a lot of anxiety. <laughs> and so they're just like, give me all the light sockets. Um, and then it goes to this sales page. And this sales page is just, it's just to the point. It's this one is where we spend a little bit more time on the design, right? We got a lot of testimonials. We make it look nice. Uh, and we make, we, it's just, what is it? 
features and benefits. How can it help me? How can it help me? How can it help me? Like that's the biggest thing. So, and it's been used for years. Avatars. This is one from a. I took this picture. Like I Playboy again. This is like you can find these in Playboy, and it's amazing. The day we got out of the soda pop business and back into the beer business. So this is interesting because it made me think of like think about all those brands that were like during COVID. They're like we stopped making shirts and we started making cloth masks. Like so many companies were doing that. They're like we stopped making jeans and started making cloth masks. Everyone was jumping on this trend because it was they wanted to show that they cared and they want to help out and so they shifted so that was their marketing message for a lot of these companies so and i think a lot of these companies are like we stopped making masks and went back to being <laughs> back to making jeans or ma making shirts again because no one's buying cloth masks anymore so this it's just it gives them information this one's a cool one it's like a historical gives a little story right and then it just and then it there is no like call to action this is definitely more branded just to give you show you that you're aware just to get your you know get get you excited to drink beer uh but this is that idea it's you can see on the left here you can see a little bit but it's just an article and it goes like right into a, another article so it's not like a big giant branded thing with a just one logo with like one word and a logo it's like they take the time and they're writing it. So an advertorial, there's more copy than just a normal ad that you would see. Like there's, they're taking the time and they're using direct response persuasion strategy to get you to, um, yeah, take action, whatever that may be. I love this one. This is a great headline too. How to live to be 175. Again, from Playboy, this is a great one. And how is that? And what they, this headline is referring to the legacy, but this is a straight up advertorial. How it's structured. Whoa, that was some that lightning's that thunder just scared me, dude. Holy yeah. smokes. Yeah. Woo! We're good. Still good. Still got an Still internet rolling. connection. Nice. Still rolling. Um, so yeah, this is like it gives this story. This is this is uh oh I oh yeah. I did a few avatorials uh, in print. So avatorials still work for direct response in print in wow. local newspapers. So I write for uh, Dan Kennedy's brand as well for magnetic marketing uh, with Russell Brunson. And so Dan Kennedy is still his, his clients and everyone, like they're still using direct response to great success. And when I say direct response, direct response mailers, like the old like junk wow. mail in your mail, they're still using it and they're still being used and they're still effective. Dude, I worked with brands that literally scaled like crazy off of just like in the newspaper. And they would, and the and the call to action is to get on the phone. I sold a, it was a weight loss supplement and also a, a um, a supplement to help with incontinence, like people that were like leaking, like women that were, um, had urinary issues where it's like they would, like pee their pants in a sense, but it's it's not necessarily just full on pee their pants, but incontinence. Right. It's it's a bigger, it's another issue. So, it's um yeah, it does really really well. And it slides right in. It's perfectly how it's shaped in the magazine. So they would buy, they would buy space in magazines or newspapers, and they would sell it that way. I know a lot of people are still doing it, and these people tend to be quiet because I think they know that there's a treasure trove there, and so like they, because you can get really high AOVs, especially when the call to action is to get on the phone, and they outsource it and everything. It's it's pretty powerful. You think it'll work for so, financial markets too? Like just a question from the audience. Oh, I, I believe so. Absolutely. Because I yeah. think one of them, uh, I just did a copy critique a couple of weeks ago for Dan Kennedy's group. And we were going over some of the client's work. And one of them was like a call to action to get an ebook. So you get a lot of, you know, that's the first step. It's like getting on a call for either ebook or consultation or free 30 minute, whatever, like no, no risk, no, you know, whatever it is. Um, to get on a call i believe so absolutely if you're approaching with a unique mechanism who the, the obviously big is big thing is credentials because i know the what is it um fisher investments i'm a, i'm semi-familiar with the uh financial market but i believe it can absolutely work for sure giving them something for free getting on a call 100 percent um i don't see why not Continue to be used. So this is from Women's World. So uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the great magazine Women's World, 
But if you go to the checkout, when whenever you're at a grocery store, the next time, look around at the magazines uh, at the cash register and you'll find Women's World. Women's World's been around for years and years and years. And they use direct response copy throughout the entire magazine. I literally, I'm looking at a stack. I have a stack of Women's World. I would just buy the latest Women's World um, and I use it for swiping and everything. I like to swipe a lot more in the hard copy. The reason why is because like if it's in print, it's working, right? Like they know, they have a history. They have a history of what magazines sold the most and so on. So I look at like the history of it. It's not just because a lot of times you see something online, you're like, is it working? Is it? I don't know. Like you're you're kind of taking guesses. You're looking at a page and wondering what's working. And then you're always surprised when you see a page, you're like, this page looks like dog shit and it's converting like crazy. And everyone's like, what? How? How is this possible? And it's just that's how it goes. So that's why I like about women's world is like it's tried and true, tested uh, for years and years. And I love this. This is straight up just an avatorial and it's a personal story avatorial. And I talk about the different types there's four main types of avatorials one of them is this one it's a personal story we did this and sold millions of uh the product fenq if you look up fenq.com uh we would get we would find a testimonial story we would find a story of uh, someone that used the product with success take their story turn it into an avatorial and then go get it into the daily mail or somewhere so work within the magazines and get it into the Daily Mail. So it has, it's it's sponsored, yes, but then it has massive credentials. And then we, of course we can then take the Daily Mail and use their credentials on the page and so on. Um, so we would do this, we would take it. So here's this, it's, it's a testimonial avatorial. So they tell this story and then the CTA is to get this, uh, you can see right here, down here is this cookbook. And they talk about like this cookbook, it's a keto cookbook. And I love this too. This is also a great thing for marketing is understanding the new waves of marketing. When I say that is that keto is still converting, but it's not just like, hey, want to lose weight? Have you heard about this diet that you just eat cheese and fat? It's called keto. It's like, no, you don't do that. That's already done, right? Because everyone by now knows about keto, but what they don't know is possibly like the lazy keto or the simple, the, the no-brainer keto. So it's taking the concept of what's working. So I see now with intermittent fasting too. Everyone's talking about intermittent fasting, but now people are doing, I see offers where they're making intermittent fasting their own unique way. It's like how to get in intermittent fasting and burn fat faster than traditional methods of trying out intermittent fasting. So that's a nice little thing too, is like keto still works, but it's how you approach it. So I'm looking at one of the women's world right now on the cover, it says shortcut keto. Great. It's taking again, what works and like, because now people are aware of keto, but maybe they're aware also of getting into keto sucks, keto flu and yada, yada. So they'll call it something else. Um, so here's how it kind of looks. So you go to, this is on Huffington Post, right? So you get this, you see this ad right here, amazing air pump every car needs it's genius in parentheses auto safety news right so it's it's approaching it almost like a third party like auto safety news look at this cool thing that every car owner needs to have and then it goes to here and here's the advertorial how a kind stranger saved me thousands and rescued our stranded family in high point now i live in high point right so that's a dynamic thing this is really powerful to use in advertorials as well is when you make it personalized to where they're at so make it personalized in their city uh, lead gen avatorials do this all the time. They do this all the time where it's like, um, why residents of C of Cincinnati are overjoyed for this new life insurance savings. So then, because then the person that looks at it's like, oh, I'm in Cincinnati. What? You know, it's that added social proof. Other people are doing it. It's this FOMO. I'm missing out. How can I do this savings? Yada, yada. So this is a personal avatorial. This is a personal story avatorial. So it goes from ad, this avatorial, it gives them. And so when they click on it, it's native. The reason why we call it native is because it's native to where they're at. They're on a site, a news site, and they're clicking on it. And so it's an article that would be somewhat similar in its approach and look and feel and how it reads as if you're reading an article from this news site. So that's what makes it native. It's sneaky. Again, it's that way of educating 
without having them feel like they're being sold to, or they're being sold to. So they come here, they read this cool information about this gadget, they click on it, and then it goes to this sales page. What's also great too, this is a really good point too with avatars. The reason why I love them in the way that I do them and the way that I write them and deliver them to clients is I don't give them just one avatorial. I tend to do three, but the way I do it, it's still, it's a, it's, it's the same amount of work. So it's, it's nice. I'm able to charge more because they're like, wow, three avatorials, but it's like, well, it, it is, it is, but it's, you know, it's great is because it's easier on me. Also, because it helps to find out like the, uh, the right angle that would hit. Cause I can't, the best thing with copywriting is like you put your foot, you do as much research as possible on copywriting. And then you have to put your good foot forward and do your best because you just never know. That's why it's like a numbers game. Um, the more VSLs you put out, the more winners you're going to get. It's just how it goes. Same with advertorials. So what I like about it though, is you can find the angles. So I would say, for instance, for this avatorial, I would do another one and talk about how it's disrupting or, or also talk about how mechanics hate it. Like this is because, you know, they're taking away, you know, uh, what is it? Shady mechanics, that whole shady mechanics angle has worked really well with that product fixed from giddy up F I X D that they use the shady, you know, saved me a ton of money for my shady mechanic to try to rip me off with this simple product. Uh, or the simple device and that angle works really really well so what's great is though you can test the angles to see what would then convert of course on the sales plate on the sales page so you'd see like this is about like how this device can inflate anything in minutes well here's the thing is if you didn't have an avatorial then you would have to like say for instance if you just went from ad to then sales page you don't know if this is going to just take off this angle and everything. Because if they just see this, they go from ad to here and they go inflate anything in minutes. You have to understand that customers, you kind of have to hold them by the hand at all times. And you have to tell them what it can inflate. So they go, huh, it can inflate anything. But you have to then say like, it can inflate anything in minutes and then be direct like tires and so, and so on. Like, so you have to tell them and show them what it can inflate that's what's great about an avatorial is it shows here's this image shows this guy holding it and there's the tire in the car and then it talks about how it's strand how this family was stranded so they're getting this they're getting a clear picture of what this can actually do or like and then as they read it they'll be more uh they'll receive that education of what this device can do how it can inflate tires really really fast and every car owner needs to have it then they come to the sales page and they say oh you know, inflate anything in minutes. Then they already have an information of what this actually is. They saw I can inflate tires. And then right here, you see in the second bullet point, works on vehicle, tires, bicycles, ATVs, and other inflatables. Um, yeah, so that's the structure of it when it comes to native. But also, this sticks for anything, any other platform. So this works for uh, Facebook. I see Facebook using, we use Facebook, or advertorials for Facebook. I've seen it used for Snapchat, it can be used for TikTok anything that gets them over to then give some more education than over here now obviously it also depends on the type of traffic that you're getting and what device they're looking at on is it on their mobile is it on their uh desktop older crowd would tend to use desktop um and so yeah that's how it goes with there and i like i for instance i know snapchat probably continues to work really well with lead gen so snapchat can work really well with lead gen depending on the lead gen and the offer of course so why avatorials? Because they work, move customers up the ladder. So they're moving up the, that that uh, from, you know, what is it? Maybe they have the problem where, uh, solution aware, but it moves them up. So it moves them up the ladder. They're able to get more information and educate without feeling salesy. They don't feel like it's sold to. It's nothing like super pitchy. They're still getting some information. It still feels valuable to them because perhaps you could drop some stats. Perhaps you can give them an emotional story. Uh, and increases conversions because you're getting more people that are likely to buy. You're getting people over to your sales page that are now more interested than if they were just go from a simple ad to then the sales page. And especially if the sales page isn't having um, all the stuff necessary like that, that moves them up the ladder. It's just more features and benefits. So the four main types of advertorials, this is what I, I uh, talk about more in the training is the e-com disruptors this is the one these are the four that i always tend to stick with 
uh, to, and I look at the brand and I do the research and I see what would work best. And so I look at if they're using a story advertorial, a lot of times I will go, okay, cool. I look at the story, how the story structure, how it's working. Okay, maybe I'll do a different angle within that story structure. But then I also want to, I would tell the client like, hey, let's also test another angle because I know that this works, especially for your type of product. And right now, what I always tend to see work that works really well is the is the e-com disruptors. So small watch companies disrupting the billion dollar industry. That one, any sort of the reason why people love that is because who doesn't love an underdog? Everyone loves an underdog. So everyone wants to fight, throw rocks at the big guys, right? So it's really powerful to see like this, you know, this skincare brand that was started out of a mom's garage is now disrupting big big box brands uh, everywhere. And what's great is it has X amount of more vitamin C and is doing X, Y, Z. Like you can, and moms every, across the United States are just overjoyed and it costs a fraction of the cost. Yeah, that's a big too, thing too. It's like it costs a fraction of what normal expensive high-end creams would, uh, would cost. So story base, I couldn't move until I tried this two inch patch. So story base is, like a personal story, think of a testimonial. Testimonials always what what makes a powerful testimonial story is where they were, so where they were before the product, and then what their life is like after the product. So where they were before, it was like, uh, say for instance, we did a personal story that did well back in the day for the CBD patches, um, and I know that this there's another patch that's called Sleep. I know that that's working. So it's like, you know, my life was miserable. I was waking up achy back shoulders i work construction i've been on prescription pills i had to get off of them because they make me miserable or grumpy or they're more tired lethargic i was tired of seeing the doctor nothing was working for me i was getting stoned every night my wife was getting annoyed that i was drinking and getting stoned but i was in so much pain well now i have found out about these two inch patches these strange two inch patches and my life has changed tremendously i'm able to wake up with more energy i feel more limber and this is what the edit, and then it's like, what is this patch? This patch is actually then this. And then in the advertorial, it's like, then it states, what is it? How does it work? And where can you get it? So social proof, these bet sheets have gone viral. I love social proof is always really powerful of like, everyone is buying it and they're flying off the shelves. Uh, who are you if you don't have this? So bed sheets. So I know that Miracle, the Miracle brand bed sheets, they use advertorials. And uh, so does Blissey. Blissey did has done very well with advertorials, and so they've used that as well, like the the, the pillowcase that the soft pillowcase that's gone viral. Um, yeah, and then a comparison. So comparison one is interesting. This one could be more for search intent. So you see, if you were to right now, if you're going to Google and type in five best, you know, like the, or just type in like best protein or best vegan protein supplements um most likely you'll find an ad up at the top uh from like smarterreviews.com probably uh they are on one of the best ones on that and so what they'll do is a comparison they'll put the product that they want to be sold at the top but they will give you other products so they're not trying to they're not trying to they're not they're not lying but they're definitely trying to nudge you into the direction that they want you to choose and so comparison ones. So we've done a lot of the comparison ones when it comes to greens juices. We did it for pillows. We did it for, or uh, travel pillows. We did it for, what else have we done it for? Oh, um, LED, like face mask thing, uh, the red light therapy. We did it for that. So comparison ones can work as well. It tends to, tends to be more for the search intent for Google. So e-com disruptors. Example, see why power companies are scared over this breakthrough device that cuts your power bill by up to 90%. So this is in the product, I think is Miracle Watt uh, is the product. So it's, that's the e-com disruptor. They're disrupting a market. People want, people like the disruptors, the disrupting of a market, of a billion dollar market. And because again, it's, it's as if it's a Robin Hood type of thing, like someone who's fighting for the, the average Joe, for the little guy, powerful. Uh, this another one too, here.com. And these, they've been running advertorials for a very long time. This is, and they use a disruptor for their lead gen. So this is lead gen. They would get on a call uh, or put in their information 
and then they get on a call and then, yeah, it's for hearing aids. So how to Germans are crushing the market with these powerful hearing aids. Disruptor. Story base. Liquid detergent wasn't helping her sensitive skin, so she found a better solution that easily cleans her laundry. So this is a great angle. And I love this beginning of the lead. It's an if-then statement. If you're like me and suffer from sensitive skin for as long as you can remember, then you can understand the struggles I have to go through on a daily basis. So individuals who have sensitive skin, their laundry detergent, um, and then that's the angle they use. So the breeze is actually has other advertorials out there. And I have examples in my training, a bunch of swipes. The breeze uses listicles. So that's like nine reasons why people are changing their laundry detergent to this one. Um, and the breeze also, their angle that works for a lot of people is that it's completely uh, biodegradable. It, it's these little sheets. And so the idea is, you know, it's uh, throwing rocks at big plastic, you know, big plastic company and these big giant tide jugs and everything um and also the product itself is made with kind ingredients to your skin so it's nothing like that that super radioactive blue goopy stuff um so people love that so this one i wrote back years ago uh mom exposed to driving tip that saved her life and now is saving the lives of others so we sold these uh safety discs these things are awesome and this is this this offer is just crushed like crazy back in the day. So uh, this was a personal story where it's like a mom trying to get back home, tire blew out, had to pull over the side of the road. It was really spooky because all these cars were uh, off the highway. It was a busy highway. And she, where she was pulled off to the side was kind of spooky because people weren't seeing her enough. And she was afraid of her family's safety because they're just on the side of the road in the car with her kids. So luckily she had these safety devices in her glove box and she put them on the side of the car, put them outside. And so when, when the police came or uh, I can't remember, but who I had in there, but when people came to help her out, uh, she felt safe. She felt safe when she put the lights out because people started to, she knows that people started to slow down and they recognize that she's on the side of the road. So story based one this one did well and like i said that two inch patch so like this is the sleep one will this two inch will this new two inch patch be the biggest sleep breakthrough of 2023 so this is that social proof one where it's 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 this big breakthrough it's this um people everywhere are just loving this this two inch patch um that you just put on and it it goes through your skin and you're able to get amazing sleep Oh, there you go. That, like I mentioned, so eight reasons why over two two million Americans have switched to Earth Breeze laundry detergent sheets. So I love listicles, and I talk about that in the training as well, where it's like why listicles are really powerful, and the reason why too is uh, they're great for the phone. So most people are on their mobile phones, and they're great because it, you can take the copy in chunks. So it's very easy, scrollable, friendly. It's not this long article they have to keep reading. It's like just boom, boom, boom. It's easy to use. Great for environment. So it's nice. It's I see a lot of more branded brands like ecom brands going the route of listicles. You see Kachava, Kachava, the the what is it, a superfood all-in-one complete meal shake. They use a listicle where it's like nine reasons why people love Kachava. Um, yeah, it's a I definitely see a lot more brands using listicles. When I say brands, it's like it's not just this one-off product to sell just to make a lot of money it's they're starting something from the ground up like really getting established with a brand with a brand name and they want to get into stores so and then this is like a comparison and comparisons work can work really really well um depending on the market uh yeah who you're selling it to so the 22 20 2022 blood pressure monitor accuracy test so they just they're kind of boring, but like for the people that are actively looking for a heart monitor or a blood pressure, <coughs> blood pressure monitor, they want just information. They don't need to be like one over with emotion. They're just like, give me the nitty gritty, this one, this one, or this one. And they look at the, it's a comparison. So this is a comparison one. Yeah. Nothing super. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's like, Put your product at the top that you want to be sold and make the copy around that a little bit more sexy and exciting 
and then put lesser quality ones below it. So it's obviously pushes them to get that top one. Like I mentioned too, this is from the Smarter Reviews. This is a, the five gr best green powders in 2023. So you, again, comparison, you put the, put the one at the top. They still give you a lot of cool information too. It still has a lot of education. So like they'll talk about like the benefits of green juice and what to stay away from when it comes to green juice and why not all green juices are created equal. And, and then it talks about, you know, actual really good stuff in there that you're like, it's well written, it's well researched. And then they break out and like, here are the five ones that we tested that we ordered and tested and tried out and did it for ourselves. And here's here are our results. And then of course, the top one again, is pushing them to they want, they want you to choose the top one. This could be really great. I mean, yeah, this, I would do, a. I mean, if you have a brand or an agency owner or your own offer and people are searching you on Google, like it would, in my mind, if you're doing an e-com product and there's others out there and you're trying to show that you're better than them, I would do a few avatorials. Like you could do an avatorial that you run just straight traffic through Facebook, uh, YouTube, TikTok, native, and then have one that's like this strictly for Google or like strictly for just like search intent for Google people. Um, yeah. So this is, and also this is like what you're roughly looking for when it comes to numbers, when it, people always want to know like, okay, what were the numbers you need to go for baseline? Obviously I'm not a numbers guy. I'm a creative, like, and I'm, so you start talking numbers and I'm like, I have to leave the room. I cannot do this. It's, but I, I like, I just need someone to tell me what the numbers mean and then we're good. So, but I do want to share this. Obviously this go, every brand is different. You have someone that knows numbers better that can obviously tell, Hey, like we're profitable and not profitable. Cause you know, what 1% for someone is amazing compared to someone else that's converting at 1% is terrible, right? It all depends on the offer, traffic, and yada, yada. So, but I, what I tend to look for, and just so you know, when it comes to an avatorial, you're looking for a baseline of 20 to 30% click-through rate um, around that on average, on just day-to-day -day average. Like if you get up to 30 and 35, like, I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, just like 20 is great still. Like you wanna get around there because then you're getting plenty of people over. And then of course, take it in steps when it comes to optimizing on those pages. Could Heath, real quick on that. Is there, um, yeah. just a, it, how about on the actual, once they click through the sales page, typically conversion rates off of the opportunity. Do you have any, do you have any baselines for that? Like after the, the 20, 20, 30% of click through the advertorial to the sales page. It all varies. So like I, like I'll work with Trey, Trey Llewellyn, who's one of the biggest in the space, in the e-com space, you know, it depends on the product and like your numbers and like, do you have a back end and upsells and all this stuff. And so like when it, from click to convert, like if we get like two to 3%, like we're amazing, like where we're at. Right. So that's kind of what we, I always try to shoot for like 3%. Great. Like that's what I want to go for. But like, if we get, it's like a one, every. I know when I need to optimize, when trade comes back to me, he's like, it's at a one point blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. So we want to get it like two and higher for sure. Um, watch the Mrs. Gold, you're sweet. As her grandma took a photo of her flip phone. As if you're going to uh, Oh, Andrew's here. Hey, Andrew, what's up, buddy? Okay, how can you act? Thanks for right, 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 right now. Okay. Let's see what, any other questions here. So anyway, um, that's the basis of like how, what an avatorial is, how does it work, why it works. The biggest thing is that it adds more education, more knowledge to the buyer. And so it, it, how I see it is it elicits a higher intent to buy instead of just going from ad to then just sales page. And they're just then left to their own device of just like looking up and down and avatorial takes them in stages. So that's what's great with it and how it works here. Let me just pull up and I'll just go find an avatar on the wild real quick. Um, it'll take them in stages. So it gives you that lead that pulls them in, right? That hooks them. And then it, and then it goes, and then they've had this discovery of this new device, this new product, whatever it is, and this is what it is. And then how does it work? Why it's cool, where to get it. 
so it's it's so just cut and dry and that's why i say it's like you don't have to overthink it and be whimsical with your copy because i know a lot of copywriters we tend to like it has to be emotional it has to be this and it has to um and they have to get like really flowery with their copy, but you don't at all. Let me share my screen again and I'll show you some more. I just found one real quick. So here's one. So uh, you could see, you can see my tab, right? We're good. You see this, the startup. So here's one. So, and I just recently did another, I just recently did an avatorial for one of the, uh, we're, we're doing it for a smartwatch and it's a competitor to like the Fitbit. And, and but are, we're going after the market specifically for seniors and how this is like it's a fraction of the cost of what Fitbit costs and it does all the cool thing that Fitbit does but without having to pay in an arm and a leg right so this startup is disrupting the entire multi-billion dollar smartwatch industry the health benefits are incredible so this is came right here literally right here after testing dozens of smartwatches this is number one you're going to be doing a lot. Uh, people on native are testing a lot of this. They're testing the hero, this image, the creative, and they're testing the headline in this. This premium smartwatch was just named best smartwatch of 2023, and it's on sale now. It's great. Show sure you if I can find another one real quick. Uh, so this one might be a listicle. This might be a disruptor. Yep, another disruptor. Okay, so uh, the pop up. So this is the lead, like the lead is only like max 200 words. This is why it's gaining, it's gaining popularity. So it adds a lot of that viral. Everyone's doing it. Who are you if you don't have this smartwatch? For a long time, the smartwatch industry is just a few big companies. I've used this kind of line for so many other things. Uh, we sold this small little heater that you plug in and it just, you can have it on your desk. And I used it where it's like, HVAC companies have been ripping people off for, for ages. Now you can fight back with this little device that costs like pennies an hour. Um, so yeah, and then it goes into, so it goes into that pain, right? This smartwatch, so it, it's been, they've been setting the prices and it's been over, it's been too, it's so expensive, but now this, this one startup, this, that whole uh, startup is also great. It's the little guy, it's the startup. It's turning the five billion dollar smartwatch smartwatch industry on its head, and then it goes into it. The company's called Rival, and it's a far superior product, fraction of the cost. So what is it? So then it just goes right into it. What is it? Meet Rival, and then it talks about the Rival. Now, when it comes to the actual sections, there is a method to it because it's like, what do you want to talk about first, second, and third? So it's like, here's this watch. What do you want to talk about? And this is where the research comes in, depending on your market and who you're going for and what they want to hear. So you want to, because I'm still trying to make sure that I'm pulling their attention along, that I'm not just like, I'm not just throwing copy around and being like, it's this and this and this, and just throwing it all out there of what it is. I'm being methodic of like, they are concerned about, for instance, uh, maybe their blood pressure or something like that. So putting that up top and talking about that and what it's doing, uh, how it's better. And then, so what makes it so popular? Talk about what makes it popular. So something unique about it, you know, this one, their unique thing is that it's innovative green laser is a secret, which is so funny. Uh, heart. So what is heart monitoring rate? Oh, wait, what is, what is heart rate monitoring? Why do I want one? So talks about, this is clearly they're going after the heart rate monitor. They're going after an older crowd, making sure they check their heart rate. Uh, and then it goes in, what else can it do? And talk about, this is the features and benefits. Here's the features and benefits. Very simple. What do others think? And then it's bringing the testimonials. How much does it cost? Now, this is actually debatable too. This is a nice little secret for anyone watching is that you want to test with and without the price on the page. So we've seen bigger things where you don't mention the price. You just mention that there's a discount and they can go get it and they get a savings now. And then they see the price on the other page. Because the truth is, is we want them to buy more than one. We always want them to buy more than one. Because in the end, on the first upsell, we're going to sell them more than one. Always. Even for econ products. We sold these tumblers, uh, you know, like the, the Yeti tumblers. We sold these tumblers that you can that we personalize them so personalization is a big thing in the econ market we personalize them and we sold it to more of the conservative crowd so it was like don't take my guns or my jesus and so we sold them and then we sold like three more on the back end and three more of the tumblers and then we added recipe books smoothies 
cocktail books and stickers and it just like blew up so um you can test with and without the price so that's what i would always do we've been testing without the price to be honest so we just keep it off and then why is it discounted where she and then the big thing here is like where do you get it where do you now get it you can get it right here and then they click here and then it goes of course to the sales page oh this is nice it's a nice looking sales page and this is where you can get fancy and make it look slick yeah, this is actually a good looking sales page. I like that. I might keep that. And then here's one another a disruptor. The new one of a kind sneakers earning high accolades from a diverse range of senior people. Senior people? Oof. I just wanted to chime in too, Heath. You're a modest yeah. guy and you failed to mention something, and that's that you've made some insanely high performing e commerce sales pages as well. So you are oh yeah, yeah. Qualified in that too. Just wanted to point that out as well. So. Oh, well, thank you. Um, yeah, and I, I shared that. That's a bonus I actually I did for free. I was going to do it as an upsell, but I did. It for, I just added it to free in my training is how I actually structure, right, my e-com sales pages that have done over like 100 million plus in sales. And so it's, and we've done it from scratch. And it's, it, my e-com sales pages have just been rinse and repeat. I'll just, because we're here, we're talking about it. I'll just show you. So it's like this one. This one continues to crush the market in the natural testosterone booster uh, space. It's done really, really well. And we've added to it recently. So now you can get another product, you can get energy. But um, we've rinse and repeat this where now it's it's like a paint by numbers or, I, or paint by letters. And the way I structured it is every section is done methodically. So then we just take this. Sorry, we can't we... see. Sorry, he, we can't see. Oh. Sorry. My bad. We're getting my everyone's bad. everyone's freaking out in the comments. As, a, as am I. I can't see. How embarrassing. FOMO. The FOMO is real. <laughs> so here you go. So this is Testo Prime. Um so what's crazy is like this headline here, tired and worn out, we still have yet to beat it. Like that was after so much research that that was the one headline it still can't be beat. Tired and worn out. Because it hit this market perfectly where these guys were at which was like, they were just tired and worn out. They were beat. We got into the mail. And so the daily mail, and we put that on here. So it's just a rinse and repeat structure of how I do these now, like this one here, um, like what I do about the fold next section, I do it in each section. This is a problem agitate solution section. You guys are getting a bonuses. We were gonna talk about advertorials. Now I'm talking about sales pages. So then right. talk about here, and then we're getting some, and then I talk about the benefits here. And then it goes with the benefits is the ingredients, then comparison. Then we always, here's a nice little secret too. If you guys are in e-com, uh, throw in eBooks, throw in eBooks, get it made by chat GPT. It doesn't matter, get someone to write it quickly and then go, it doesn't have to be super intense, uh, but then get someone on Fiverr or Upwork and get someone to design it nice, just like this. Like something that looks as if you can publish it and put it on a coffee table make it look nice like it's not just thrown together and people love it people love it but also we added it and all of our conversions went through the roof so we now literally have it for every one of the brands that i helped built out from scratch so like this one right here staying on the page so like the probiotics one same structure doing the same exact structure and then what we did down here oh i gotta show you this this is fun i um this is so ridiculous. But back in my days when I was just like, dude, dude, I listen, I was like, I back in my days when I was just smoking way too much pot. I don't do it anymore. I've changed my ways, but like just always high. And I was like, hey, can we get a bottle that can go down a digestive tract as they scroll? And the designer was like, Yeah, we could do that. And they did it. <laughs> Look at and that. And so now it's so it's so dumb. <laughs> but it's so dumb. Anyway, but this is like, yeah, within your first dose. And then again, ebooks. Literally, we just have ebooks. When you get your offer, you're gonna get ebooks. And it just any the ebooks are just a way to strengthen the initial offer. It's a way to just boost that initial offer. It's also not just that, it's a way for them to consume that initial offer. We want to encourage consumption because we want them to come back for more. So it's a way for them to go like thank you. And like it's almost like an instructions, like what to do next. So you could do that with weight loss, where it's like, here's your five, you got this product, 
Now here's your five day jump start. If you sell like booty bands or whatever it is, now here's your five day jump start to use these booty bands. Um, so we always add ebooks for all of the products. So we did it for there. We did it for I did it for this one. So this is for like for male test for male enhancement system eight times the bedroom performance. So male for libido for men. Problem agitate solution again same structure that we're following here, and then showing boom ebooks, add ebooks. They're so easy to get made and they just boost your conversions across the board. And so some people will add them as like something to buy, but I just we just do them for free. So. Anyway, um, yeah, man. So, what? I mean, we've already gone an hour. Wow. Yeah, Holy, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to respect your time, Keith, because this is just you know this is just anything else. Um, I just, I mean, maybe you can take a couple more questions from the audience here. Um, there's a couple really uh, there's some awesome questions across the board. So I'm just gonna grab some random ones. Um, yeah, for sure. So just real quick. And um, so how do you, so Mo asked this question here, given the different advertorial formats, how do you pick which format to avoid doing? Or, you know, like what's your, you got these four formats. How do you know, okay, I'm going to start with this one, given that I have this product, I'm not going to do this for this particular product. How do you know where to start? I definitely looking at the, first I would research your market, understand your market, what, what they're seeing, where they're hanging out. So for example, I see a lot of Legion advertorials for like life insurance and so on, on like Fox News, and they will literally make their advertorials look as if you're still on Fox News. They'll keep the blue and the red and all the colors to keep it as if you're still there. Um, it all depends on your market and your offer. Like, would you do nine reasons listicle for a financial book? I don't know, I don't think so. Uh, I think it comes down to what you wanna test, uh, what you would test. I don't think I would stay away from anything if, if it doesn't make sense, like a comparison, if you're the only one in the market that is unique and you there isn't other competitors, I don't think you would need to use a, a comparison advertorial. Um, can you craft an advertorial without revealing the product if you're directing traffic to BSL? Yes, that's called a jump page. So uh, the jump pages are mainly used for compliance reasons because they don't want people going from an ad to a VSL. So they want an, an, a page in between. And so those are just jump pages. That, what you do to write those, very, very short, like no more than 500 words, uh, probably even less, but it's just a tease. It's just a really tease. So you see, let me see if I can grab an example of what, that, but that's a good question. But yeah, you don't want to reveal the product or offer in a jump page to go to VSL. You're absolutely right. You want to keep it. Here's an example. Here, let me show you. Oh my God. This picture is so funny. Okay, let me show an example. Um, so you can see right here, surgeon, try this to help shrink in large prostate. Sorry, he's, he, again. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Popped up just when I asked. <laughs> spread, old spread eagle right there. Look at that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> prostate Research Group. So this is a jump page. Very, very short. And it looks like all it is is all natural three steps approach. Uh, fights the root cause of BPH and may insist the large prostates without any modern medicine or procedures. Watch this video to understand why big pharma companies don't want you to know about the simple treatment. So all that, look how short that is. It's just, all it is, is just blind copy. Just all blind copy. You don't know what it is, but it's enough to tease you to go, go watch the video. And then they just fi fill it with testimonials. This is a cool one. This is actually a good jump page. And you got this obviously like eye-catching image, right? So then you go here and then it goes to another page and here's the VSL, P and zero gravity. Protocol is saving thousands from lunch, but I'm gonna, I might keep that up and watch it. Okay, so that is how uh, that works. So that's a good question. Question two, have you noticed the difference in conversions from Facebook versus native? Oh yeah, that's all always gonna change. Like Facebook, you're gonna get Facebook traffic. Native, you're gonna get native traffic. Like native, it's like, native is notoriously more difficult. Because that one you have to have different. This is where James Van Ellswick is like, you know, we we're buddies with James, so it's like you're much much lower numbers to get to go through than Facebook. So that comes down to, I mean, you got to just send the clicks and then to, and then figure out if you're profitable. So it's like send a thousand clicks, let's see what happens. But yeah, you're gonna get different uh, conversions. Also, it depends on the offer. 
So you see an offer that would crush on native. Um, if it crushes on native, it's probably going to crush everywhere else. Like native is just tends to be just more difficult. So, um, yeah, health related adverts. There's a lot on native for health related adverts, and I see more so on Facebook going to. Um, I see it in advertorial, but I also see it going to a VSL or also to uh, sales pages for a health related advert. It depends on your audience as well. So I'd follow if it's an older audience, like look at what Patriot Health Health Alliance is doing. Um, who's the other one? I'm trying to think of them. Paleo Hacks. Any of the paleo hacks group, see what they're doing. Yeah. When you hit a winner, what's the first thing you test for a split test? I have a 30% CTR and a 20 pre sale page like the example you provided. What would you test for a price and offer? Wait, when you hit, what's the first thing you would test for a split test? I have a 35% CTR and is it overall CTR? And an overall CTR or an overall so, uh, conversion? Luke, Luke sent a correction. It's uh, he meant two point five percent. Oh, oh, over. So it's already like going well. Um, I have a pre-sale page like the example I provided. What would you test for as price, price and offer, uh, headline, etc. That's a good question. So, like, if it's not converting at all, I would definitely look at the offer. Like, okay, what's wrong with the offer here? Are people just not biting. But then a lot of times, what I would do is to split test is definitely. The headline, the headline and the hero image when they click on over in that first image. So it's the headline and the hero image. Uh, we test all the time first and then followed by the lead. The lead, the first 200 words where it's like a, maybe it's an if then statement lead or whatever. And this happened back in the day when I did, I was partners with a gummy brand. And one of our advertorials was like this California mom uh, got accidental abs by eating these candies stupid i think i wrote it so fast and i was like irritated and i was like i'm just writing this and then it worked and crushed and i was like what i it's just a lesson to learn to like not care don't care stop caring and just write and then you're like you're gonna probably do well but it was i took the idea from uh, jay diedbolt he had uh, credit secrets back in the day with larry king and it was that like california mom accidentally raises her credit score by like 300 points from this to this so I took that concept and it was like California mom accidentally gets abs, like accidentally abs by eating these candies. So it takes that like, what? It's that curiosity, like candies. And it was, we were selling uh, apple cider vinegar gummies. So there you go. And it did really, really well. That's awesome. Any examples of our for different types of SaaS or apps? Uh, yeah, they're out there for sure. I have nothing. I mean, I have to go search in a while, but yeah, they're absolutely out there where it's like, Add this to your Chrome browser right now, for sure. So that is definitely there. Yes, 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 yes. And they're kind of the same idea of a disruptor of like, uh, I've seen an avatar, I think back in the day when Honey was first announced, how Honey like takes, you know, how Honey works. Like you put it in your browser and it's able to take these discounts. So like you can use that as a disruptor angle for sure. Um, how do I leverage Jet GPT? I tell it to, Fuck off. No, I've been like, I've been playing around with it a, a little bit here and there. I've been having fun with it. I'm like, now write that in the voice of Tom Cruise and it will do it. And it's really stupid. But like, I'll play around with it here and there. Mainly, what's helped me with Chat GPT is it forces your brain to start moving. So I'll put in the prompt where it's like, you are this and this. And there's other copywriters out there that are just doing amazing prompts and stuff. Um, I'll like, do the thing that it needs to do, like get the prompt, set it up. Here's my demographic, give it all the information it needs. And then what I've done to help me is like, just kind of get me moving is kind of like, help me with a little bit of the research. What are some pain points that this mom may be facing uh, to want to get her kid to play soccer better? I talk about that actually in my training, because like there's a product out there, Dribble Up, which is a great product. And I was like, they can, I think they, that's a perfect brand to test out an avatorial because like there's a lot of uh there's amazing gifts by the way too add gifts to your avatorials as well gifts do really really well so add a gift down on the page like one or two nothing crazy but like demonstration gifts anytime you can demonstrate is really really powerful because people just the closer you can get them to the product th that feels as if they're using it the more powerful it is 
where it's like they they feel like they can hold it they can use it they can see their life with it and then yeah so use gifts um but like i was saying it just chat gpt has just kind of helped me move with the creative process so it'll get some ideas going it'll get help me with the research and then i will then i'll possibly take an if then statement lead and then i'll put it in chat gpt and say rewrite it now with uh, more empathy from the first person point of view of a dad in his 50s who wants to blank 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 who wants to feel better about waking up in the morning without aches and pains so I'll, I'll do it like that and see what it comes up with will i take everything no i've been like copying pasting a little bit and then i'll still add my own stuff so i can't say if it really helps me be faster um it's another tool that i'm still working with um but yeah, hope that helps out. Love it. Thanks, Dewey. Anyway, uh, but uh, Ian, did you want to share like the the training? They can go and get it, and if they oh, yeah. it, if they want more. Yes, everybody. So so Heath, um, you just you gotta first of all, this is as you can see, Heath can can he's has a vast amount of experience and knowledge and all this, and he's just condensed it and uh, formulated it in his own way in such a way that he's an amazing teacher and presenter and he's extremely funny as you can tell but i mean this is like heath is entertainer um as well and he's actually put together a course that walks through his entire process for advertorials like everything huge swipe file etc cetera, etc cetera. and i'm going to fix the link here it's, uh, yeah it's over like seven hours and i take you step by step from like there's all these bonus lessons and I, one of the bonus lessons that I go over all my e-com sales pages, I show the process from beginning to end of how I write these advertorials. I even had a bonus where I wrote an advertorial from scratch beginning to end. It's like two and a half hours long. So you're able to see like you can do it from start to finish. And I know a lot of people like to see that. Like they like to see like, how does he start? How does he finish? Like, what does it actually look like that process? So you get to see me in my full, just who I am. Uh, so it's, I like to say it's very fun. It's a fun time. It, I put in a lot of work into it. Um, I can't be selling. This is not what I do, by the way. This is like I've come out of hiding, sell this thing, and then I go back into hiding because I I write specifically. I'm I work closely just with Russell Brunson, and we just we just build funnels together. That so that's what I do, and I'm just good in that space. He keeps me plenty busy because he doesn't stop. He doesn't sleep, and so. Um, this was just this one time thing that's like i'm bringing it down on sunday i just wanted to put this out there i'm really proud of it i think it's really cool and it's already like taken off and a lot of people are liking it so it has you can see on the page when you drop it did you already drop it in but you can yeah. see on the page of everything that i have in there is that link working for everybody you just give me a thumbs up there it is oh yeah it works works for me hopefully it works for perfect Sweet. And I just wanted to add too. So, um, you know, on for anyone who, who, who joins Heat's program through, through uh, that link right there. So we really want to help accelerate your pathway to getting started with, with advertorials. And some of you are amazing copywriters, even have full on copywriting teams. Um, you know, he's, he's training is something that, that our team is, is going to be, uh, very closely working with to try and just level up our advertorial skills specifically for YouTube advertising. So as you probably many of you know, we have a YouTube ad agency called Inceply. We've managed over $200 million in ad spend on YouTube. And advertorials in a lot of funnels are crucial on YouTube. And so for anyone who joins Peace Course through that link, we're gonna also draft an advertorial for you. So basically you're not gonna be staring at the, at the screen, um, just get you started right out of the gate. So just keep that in mind. And um, I, I mean, he's honestly, I showed this, this sales page to so many people where they they just say, this is unbelievable, Heath, that you're doing this. And, you know, it's so specific and so critical too, because like, this is literally the ne needle mover in a lot of cases where someone has a good offer, they might've made some decent ads, but there's just, there's some kind of, there's a disconnect there. And this is what bridges that disconnect and just allows things to really take off. So. Um, can't say enough good things about advertorials. And Heath is the man for Nutra, for Ecom, for pretty much everything. Heath is just has internalized all this and digested it in an easy to consume format so that you can 
quick to get up to uh, to a high level with advertorial. So it's it's unbelievable that you're making this, Keith. It's it's, it's really 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 special. Well, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you don't buy, at least enjoy the long form sales letter that I wrote there. And yeah, uh, swipe that, everybody. Eh. <laughs> I talk about overwhelming proof. I mean, that's the other thing. So Keith, you know, you, you look across the board that you got Russell saying amazing things about you. Um, and then obviously like our mutual friend, James Van Ellswick, the king of native, saying amazing things about you and, and everyone in between. Um, so yeah, Keith is like, always people always say oh the you know the the the, the, the best kept secret um keith is that guy and honestly i'm just so happy we got to learn from you today i mean awesome content you've been presenting here and i think it's just uh, a taste of what you can discover inside of his course so definitely encourage you awesome. to check it out yeah awesome well thanks guys appreciate you glad to be here and uh yeah thank, thank you, you keith thank you. so much it's been an honor yeah, thank you sure. everybody it's humbling that you're all here and and and, and uh, on the call with all of us. So really appreciate you all. And thanks so much for joining us. Yep. All right. See you guys. Yeah.